As the number of times I circle the sun adds up, I find myself a bit more forgetful than I was before. Sometimes that's a good thing, because my mind is an equal opportunity forgetter, so I'm pretty sure a few bad thoughts have gone by the wayside as well. <whistles> a trilling phantom in an autumn flame red maple tree is a hard thing to forget, nighttime whistler. No, sometimes you just forget things. Like the 11 bottles of frosty citrus sparkling soda that you left at the grocery store right after purchasing them? <whistles> How do you do that? How do you leave a store without the thing you just bought? Wouldn't it occur to you that something might be missing? On your journey across the parking lot? Perhaps the transfer from cart to car? Does it ever even occur to you that you don't have that basket you were just lugging around the store in your futile effort to track down that special brand of quinoa that your Magic 8-Ball app told you will add at least three and a half months to your life? I mean, we're talking about nearly 12 pounds of naturally and artificially flavored carbonated beverage. At some point, you'd think one might notice that the load is a bit light. Come to think of it, I set them down on the floor while I was checking myself out. So, to add insult to injury, I probably had to step over the stupid things to actually leave them behind to begin with. Life is cruel sometimes, Nighttime Whistler. No two bones or eleven bottles of tropical bliss about it. What about the lugging through the garage, up the stairs, then the meandering journey through the welcoming maze your wife calls a feng shui inspired you never get a second chance to make a first impression for yay? When does it finally occur to you that you forgot your stupid drinks? I was getting to the whole feeling thirsty thing, Nighttime Whistler, but thank you for stepping on my punchline. So once realization sets in, and I get over a moronic shame that rivals the sinking feeling you get when you first realize the scientific infeasibility of your excuse for not having your homework completed at some point in your primary education, I make the sheepish call to the store. Yes, I am the guy who bought enough sparkling sodas to offset the weight of a Mini Cooper, then scaled them like an expert mountain climber just to leave them behind like an island of misfit, gluten-free refreshments Yes, I am that customer. So I go back to the store, suddenly feeling strangely thankful that I still remember where the place even is, and at the customer service desk, they had my basket of sodas, and a handwritten note scratched on the back of a discarded receipt. Paid for. Customer gonna come back. <whistles> that was my first thought, too, Nighttime Whistler. But once I got past the aggravation that a complete stranger had a better grasp of my immediate future than I did on that particular day, there was something oddly reassuring about it. Almost as if to say, it's going to be okay. It happens to all of us. I just hope it never happens with 11 watermelons. I might have a hard time explaining that one.